Hello everyone, my name is Lewis and this is Front Yard Astro and we're going to do the unboxing of the SV Boney MK105. So I just got this in the mail on this past Saturday. I know a lot of people are still waiting for this. So there's not too many videos out there. So I told the guys over at SV Boney that I would go ahead and I do an unboxing. Unfortunately, we're not having the best weather out here in SoCal. So once that weather goes away, I'll go be able to test this out and do a, a review on it. As you guys can see, I'm pretty familiar with Max Atoffs. I have the Skywatcher 127 that I use a lot for planetary and moon imaging. I have the Celestron C90 Mac. And then I have my new rig, AM5. I have the SV Boney 102 ED with the 60 millimeters SV Boney guide scope. So I'm pretty familiar with the SV Boney products. Here you have the uh, 50370ED, and there's just your little uh, 70 millimeter uh, beginner scope there. But with that being said, the main star of today is the uh, Mac 105. So let's get started here. So it comes very well protected. Like I always get my products from SV Boney. They do a hell of a job with the packaging. So, let me get these outer layers out. Very nicely well bubble wrapped. I don't want anything to happen to that scope. opening that Christmas present here actually this was my Christmas present to myself so yeah that's kind of a true statement and there you have it got SV Boney box SV Boney if the model is MK 105 it's a 105 millimeter aperture the focal ratio ratio is f13 new box smell so it comes very well packaged for pe protective foam I usually save these there comes with the uh, instruction manual cleaning cloth and the star of the show Uh, MK105. The box over here on the side. First impressions. Very well built. I like it. Not too light, not too heavy. Colors really nice. It comes with the protector here in the back. It should have the, uh, that's for the screws there. I think I might be missing something here in the box. Again. That's what I needed here. So it comes with some screws. And the screws should be here for so you got one, two, three, four, five. So they give you two places to put your scopes. Um, you can put a guide scope, a red dot finder. It's got the little mounts here, ducktail mount, and it actually has one built into the actual scope. And then here in the back, on the one, it's a one and a quarter inch receiver, has a connector, and it's really nice. It has the brass compression, so you won't mock up your. Uh, your cameras or whatever you'll be putting in there. As far as the focuser, it's nice and smooth. 
Like says, I'll be able to try this out once uh, we get some good weather, but there's the uh, mirror. Man, this thing's pretty. The only thing I am noticing, this is kind of a little loose. And maybe over the time, I mean, it just, as long as it goes on there to protect it, I mean, it's fine, but some of my other ones are a little harder, but... I mean, that's not too bad. It's probably gonna stay off for most of the time. But uh, like I said, I do have plans for this. Uh, I wanna do some lunar, some lunar uh, imaging with this. I do plan on taking a ASI Air Plus and put a camera on the back and see, you know, what kind of DSOs I can get if I, if I can't even get it, just because it's got a high F number. It's not that great for uh, DSO, but it just means longer exposures. I have used my Mac uh, C90 to do the uh, Orion Nebula, and that's come out pretty good. But uh, I do have a uh, Star Adventure uh, GTI that I can put this on, and I also have the AZ GTI in EQ mode that I can try it with. But here's the, uh, put these in here. Like that. I do have <clears throat> oh. this is just off one of my other telescopes so pretty much this would go we'll just put these these are nice and sturdy and heavy duty so the big grips, so that's really cool. Usually the ones that come on these scopes are very small. But we can put this in here, lock it, open this up. There's an SV Boney Faso 40 millimeter. And that's pretty much, you know, it. And all we need is a red dot finder or, you know, whatever you want to see as a spotting scope. Happen to have one here on my other rig. Put it back. And there you go. All we need to do is put it on a, put it on a mount. And give it a try. So, uh, thanks for the stopping by and looking at the review. I will go ahead and I'll put some images. I'll take some photos and I'll attach it here to the uh, video to give you guys some close-ups of the uh, telescope. Thank you. Guys.